because depression is hitting. It's fine. Next up is is. Next up is Hello, everybody. It's your girl Jay, and today I'm here with my very late November TBR. It's actually the third week of November now. By the time this video goes up, it's probably the fourth week of November, but. I have excuses, okay? I have my excuses. If you're new to this channel, then you don't know this, but my mom actually picks my TBR every month and she always has a fun little theme to go along with why she chose the books that she chose. This month, my mother was away in Ireland and Wales and Scotland and England and all those places very far from Canada. So she was not here to pick my TBR. So that is excuse number one. Excuse number two is I am just a lazy little bitch and uh, just haven't sat down and filmed this because I just have not been in the mood to do anything with my life lately, you know? We love when uh, it starts getting dark at 5 p.m. So that's where we're at in life right now, but, but we have some books, we have a theme which is weird and wonderful titles, so we're gonna tell you what those are now, so without further ado, let us get started. The first book that she chose is Tales of the Peculiar by Ransom Riggs. I'm assuming it's just because it says peculiar, and that's a fun word to say. Peculiar. But this is like a spin-off of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. It's like a prequel talking about the peculiars. I actually am very intrigued by this. I read the first Miss Peregrine's book and never continued on with this series even though I have them all, but this one has like pictures in it which I am always a big fan and it is a pretty short book so I should be able to read it pretty quickly. Like it only has 190 pages so this is one that should be done this month. Will it be done? There's only 11 days left of the month, which, uh, like I said, no motivation to do anything, so don't know if they will be done, but fingers crossed it will. Next up is one that has actually been on my TBR a couple of times and I just still have not picked it up. It's I'm Not Your Manic Pixie Dream Girl by Gretchen McNeil. This follows a girl named Beatrice and her two friends who are constantly bullied, so she is actually very good at math and she decides that she's going to create a formula on how to be very popular, the Manic Pixie Dream Girl get all the boys. So she starts following this formula, but then things start to break down and she starts causing problems for her friends and she realizes, you know, you should be yourself to get people to like you. But like I said, this has been on my TBR for a while and I just have not picked it up, so maybe this month will be the month. Next up is Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by Jonathan Safran Foy. This trips me out, like the writing on this book. I can't do it. My brain just goes, huh? This one is actually kind of cool too because like it has pictures, but it also has like different formats, more pictures, and it has like annotations in it which I don't think were put in by people. I think like that's just how the book is. It has like weird font outlines, you know? So I am definitely intrigued. I feel like this one I have to be in the like proper mindset to actually pick up because it looks like it's gonna take a lot of thought. It's also a pretty heavy topic. Like it follows a boy whose father died and the trade centers during 9-11. So I definitely need to be in the mindset but Will that be November? Probably not, because depression is hitting. It's fine. Next up is An Earl, The Girl, and A Toddler by Vanessa Riley. I read the first book in this series, which right now my mind is blinking and I cannot remember what it's called, but I know that it was a yellow book. Oh, it's called A Duke, The Lady, and a Baby. I read that, like, the beginning of this year because I got this book from the publisher, and so I knew I had to read it, but... I still have not. But these are like historical romances kind of thing. It follows two characters that were in the first book, I believe, and now this is their story. This follows Jamina St. Mar and Daniel Thackeray, Lord Ashbrook. Next up is The Goblin Emperor by Catherine Addison. I have all three books in this series. There might actually be four now. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest, but I was sent this a very long time ago by the publisher, and I've been waiting for it to be available on audio since July 2021 at my library and I'm still number 14 in line so I can only imagine how many people were lined up for this book because July 2021 was like almost two years ago so or has it been two years my brain is not braining today guys I'm sorry and then the final book that she chose is The String Diaries by Stephen Lloyd Jones and this one has nothing to do with the title my mom has just actually read this book before and thought it was really good so she wants me to read it so that's why it's on this TBR all I really know about this is that like a couple finds a package of diaries and they read it and like things start coming to fruition because of these diaries that they found in the boot of their car 
so I don't really know. But there's tentacles on the cover, so I'm hoping an octopus comes. Will that happen? Probably not. Alright everybody, so those were the books that my mother chose for this TBR. Like I said, not 100% sure how much of these are actually going to be read because sun goes down at 5 p.m. now and I have no motivation to do anything but like sit in my bed and cry. So <laughs> it's fine. Let me know down below what you guys are reading this month and what you've thought of them so far since it is halfway through the month and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!